Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Dre Chronic and today I'm going to be telling you about a new series that's coming to my channel pretty pretty quick, pretty soon here. Um it is another modded survival series cuz the last one was in 1.5 and uh uh I didn't really uh spend a lot of time putting the uh the mods that I wanted together and I only had about 5 or 6 maybe. So it wasn't that too big of a modded survival so I figured um, uh, I wasn't too far into it, so I'd restart, start fresh, start new, and uh, start a new one, and research a bunch of mods, and put them in, uh, put them in a little pack that uh, I've nicknamed the Drock Pack for Dre Chronic, and um, yeah, it's it's not for you guys to download. It's just that's that's what I named it, um, but because um, I don't have. Some of them, uh, they don't allow to be put in mod packs, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun, uh, modded survival, um, and, uh, yeah, I'll just give you a little breakdown of what is going to be in the modded survival, and I hope to make it a very long series, because it is so many mods. I have, uh, I think when I started it up, uh, Forge told me I have... Well, three of them are, are Forge itself, but uh, 34, I think, 34. So 30, 30 plus mods, which is a crazy amount, and uh, I thought it would make my computer lag like so much, but uh, as you can see, it's a actually going pretty good. It's, it's pretty uh, pretty quick for the amount of mods it has, because only like five or six of them are actually really huge. The other ones are kind of minor ones, but they do add to Ma Minecraft and make it a little bit more exciting. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get uh, let's get through them all. I have a list. Um, if I pause this and move this window over here on my other screen, I have a big list of all the mods that are included. Okay, so the first one that you're gonna notice probably is the sounds. That is the M Atmos uh, atmospheric sounds mod. It just adds a bunch of uh, atmospheric sounds like wind, like uh, um, when you're underwater. It sounds like you're those are two sheep just hanging on top of a tree um, but it, it makes it sound a uh, lot better a lot less lonely in Minecraft so it's pretty cool and then if I I go over here um the next one we have would be okay I'm not gonna there you go I got the window all set up so I don't have to keep pausing and going over to that window anymore because I have it on my second screen but um yeah, the next one we're going to be talking about is the Highlands mod, which is this one right that I'm in right now. It adds a new uh, new world type, which is what we're going to use. Is that a piece of wool? Yes, it is. A new world type. There's one of the mods right there. Okay, new world type called Highlands, and it adds a bunch of new biomes like this one, which is, if I check right here, it is called the Cliffs biome, which has a bunch of... Uh, bunch of like shrubs these are like shrubs there's cobblestone uh, mossy cobblestone pretty cool and pretty big hills and stuff pretty awesome it also adds a big uh, ocean biome that goes down to bedrock it adds uh, um, floating islands it adds uh, redwood trees it adds uh, mm, just a bunch of cool cool biomes that we are gonna check out and give me a reason to uh, keep going keep exploring and keep going through the world because it adds a bunch of cool things and it adds uh, a, just a, just a bunch of stuff just a bunch of new trees and stuff like redwoods there's a uh, poplar there's um, if I go into um, uh, I guess it's in the normal one doesn't have its own tab yeah it's right down here we have ash trees mangrove palm ironwood redwood fir poplar canopy acacia we have just a bunch of a bunch of trees and stuff so it's going to be pretty cool and then the next one is the uh, ruins mod and the uh, battle towers which are made by the same person so they fit together ruins add a bunch of new um like just abandoned houses and stuff make it look like uh, look like uh, you you're not as alone. There's some of the new trees down there, and that's uh, I believe that's a jungle island biome over there. Pretty cool. But the ruins and the uh, battle towers. This is a battle tower right here, 
and they're just they're pretty cool yeah, a bunch of layers of uh, spawners and chests with some some cool uh, drops in it that one's not that cool but uh, one I found earlier had three diamond blocks in it, which is crazy. Just, just, just crazy. That's off the charts. Off the charts, crazy. But um, yeah, pretty cool. They have some things in them. Uh, this, this one doesn't seem too promising, but you'll get that sometimes. Um, some have uh, blocks of diamonds. Some have blocks of iron, and some just have bread and wheat and saplings. There's got to be something good in this one. I'm I, I'm gonna search through this one. Um, some melon seeds. It looks like. I think those are melon seeds. Um. Iron sword, gunpowder. Not too bad. Not too bad. Still like to see better though. Um. Oh, chain armor. That's that's pretty good. That's uh. It's a nice find. Oh, there we go. Block of diamond and six brewing stands. So this is gonna be awesome. That way we don't have to go mining all the time, because that's kind of boring to w watch a person mine. So uh, I, I hope to uh, make it more adventurous, more more of a going around, searching through stuff, fighting mobs, make it more exciting. So yeah, that that one actually below. These are supposed to have the best. The top is supposed to have the best. But look at that: eight gold ingots, five redstone. If you go down here, one block of diamond, six brewing stands. I think this room's the best, and I just broke that. Oops. We'll just put these up around here. I think that's six. Yeah, that's six. Okay. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm going to regenerate the world. So we're going to be on a fresh new world when we start off from out of survival. So it's not going to look anything like this. That is a cool biome, though, by the way. Um, yeah, and then the other the other mods, like I said, there's 30-some. So it's going to take a while to go get through these. But um, we have the Coral mod, which is just... Adds a little biome underwater. Wherever there's deep enough water, it adds this little biome with, uh, you know, coral and stuff. Pretty cool. More uh, aesthetic than anything, but uh, it just makes it a little bit more, uh, more alive. Your uh, Minecraft world, so it's pretty cool. And they glow underwater. Some of them do. It's just pretty nice. It uh, and it works. I, I wasn't sure if it was going to work with the Highlands mod, but it works pretty well with it. So it pretty much blends in. It's pretty cool. Okay, and then the other one we have is, um, if I find, if I find, there's a squid. We have the um, what is that? Uh, damage indicators. Damage indicators mod is back on. So so that way I know how much damage I'm doing and how much health things have. So that's just a simple mod. And then we have uh, um, the mod that I did my first ever uh, mod review on, which is this one right here, the Extrapolated Ores mod, because I figured it would add a really good good, uh, good way to go around and uh, search for stuff, better armor and stuff, and it adds some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool decorative items and stuff, like Desert Quartz, which is pretty awesome. There's some of the new trees over here. So that's in there, as long as, as well as with the um, extrapolated de decor, which I probably won't use that much, but it, it does add some pretty cool uh, decor decorative uh, items. If we if we make a big castle or something, there's is that the same? No, that's a different battle tower. I forgot where I was at for a second. Okay, the other ones are uh, better furnaces, which just adds uh, like iron, gold, diamond furnaces that just they're just a little bit quicker than you know like diamond is four times quicker iron is like two times quicker gold gold is no gold is four times iron is eight I don't know I I think iron is just a little bit quicker and then gold is two times uh, diamonds four times and there's a hell one that's like eight times and then there's an extreme one which is 50 times but it's very very expensive but yeah that that way we don't have to spend time waiting for uh, the ingots and and whatnot to um to cook, so that way we can just uh, get right into the nitty gritty, the uh, RPG style that I've tried to put together with this uh, pack of mods. Pretty cool. And then the other one, on other ones we got are uh, wow, this is a lot that I'm looking at. Man, I've barely scratched the surface so far. We have uh, backpacks, backpack mods, so that way we can carry around more items and go on adventures and stuff pretty cool they have uh, 
a crafting backpack so you can carry around your own little crafting bench. Hit a little bit of lag there. So uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be pretty exciting. And along with that, with the exploring and stuff, since I, I, I plan to explore, we're not going to really have uh, one base. We'll have one base at the beginning, but then then we'll grow into many, many different bases throughout the world. Maybe one in each biome or something that we find. And, you know, it'd be really a, a lot of a hassle to go through all that and try to try to uh, travel from one to the other by just walking or running like this. So what we've included in here is Enhanced Portals, which is a pretty cool mod. If I show you, you can grab Obsidian, you can grab Flint and Steel, and you can make stuff like this. The normal portal, you know, is 4x2, but this one we're going to make right like this. We're just going to make it uh, our own little thing. There's going to be sheep inside of it. Uh, get out. There you go. It's going to be four by three, so um, on the inside. So, how how is that going to work? Boom! It works. So the enhanced portals just makes you lets you make bigger portals. I don't know what's going on right now. I think because I broke the wrong part of the portal. But it just makes you bigger size portals, smaller portals, and it also lets you if you use the dial device and the portal modifier you can travel from one portal to the other without going through the nether you can just put one in one base put one in the other you can dial it up you set your uh, set what you want it to be uh, called and then you dial that one and then you step through and all of a sudden you're in that other base without going through the nether at all so it's pretty cool that's it, our easy travel easy travel it's uh, pretty cool but they are really expensive they cost a lot of diamonds and an obsidian to make but uh, I I expect us to find a bunch of diamonds and stuff because uh, there's these battle towers everywhere so uh, hopefully we're gonna find a bunch of diamonds and stuff so we'll be able to make those and then here's extrapolated ores um, we have carpenters blocks which is a pretty cool mod just for the uh, aesthetic purposes um, if you we grab just a couple of these things, like like uh, I think that'll be enough, and then grab some um, stuff that you don't usually see. Let's grab some pink wool, some blocks of gold, um, some lapis, some glass. And what you do is you just put down your um, your thing, your little block that you can make stuff out of, and. Uh, it's just the basic ones. There's a daylight sensor. All the all the stuff acts like just the normal blocks would, and it also has slopes. And what you do is you just put those down. Then whatever you want to color it, you just right click it and look at that. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. And look at that, a glass lever. And they work just like the normal ones do. Um. But the I think the coolest is uh, the trap doors because they are freaking awesome. It looks like the normal block, but you can right click it so it blends in a lot better and the slopes are pretty cool which you can do with um, wood too if you put one right there so pretty cool make little slopes and stuff um, I don't know if can you yeah you, you, you climb up them just like stairs it looks like but uh, just g give it a little bit more um, uh, aesthetic to the game aesthetics a little bit more um, variety in your builds and stuff and then we have smart moving which I'm using right now smart moving it's uh, you can fly around pretty cool different animation as you can fly a new swimming animation if we go in here swimming you swimming on top you can dive you can um, you, the coolest part of it I think is if we go right here and we just dig a hole and we dig a hole that way and we did, did we set up our uh, controls no, we didn't. We gotta set up our controls. Give me a second. XC, and let's change this one to um, Coral Reef GUI. I didn't know you, even though it had a GUI. Let's just put that as K. And uh, ascend, descend. And there we go. That should be good. Now we just press uh, Shift, and then the grab button. We can crawl through these little tiny one by one holes in the ground. So it's pretty cool 
pretty awesome just gives you a lot of new features to uh, play around with a new way to go around your minecraft world pretty awesome let's get back to uh, normal mode and then we have a bunch more we have um, hmm, uh, I'm looking through because I kinda did not go in order at all I put these in order and I did not uh, follow to it um, another simple one is we got uh, Pam's clay spawn which just uh, adds uh, clay, to clay deposits underground so we don't have to search through the uh, every uh, piece of water for clay for our hardened clay if we need any it uh, adds some that spawn underground if we can find any um, does it, there's some granite um, some tin doesn't look like uh, there's any right here but it does it does spawn underground it's fairly common it's about as common as iron which I don't see much of there but yeah it does spawn in uh, just just underground so it's, so it's a little bit nicer to get uh, clay there might be some on, on these little mountains somewhere yeah I'm not really not really oh there is there's some there's some see it does spawn above ground and below ground and pretty cool easier way to get clay and then we have uh, enchanting plus which just uh, lets us pick our enchantments uses a bunch of levels but it lets us pick our enchantments so that way we don't spend time waste time enchanting uh, our items with the wrong enchantments because that's just that's just annoying so uh, we've got that we have uh, diamond buckets which are normal buckets they act like normal buckets but you can make them out of anything including wood wood has a 20 seconds of use up to like diamond which can hold six normal buckets inside the one bucket so it's pretty cool just lets lets you hold a little bit more in one bucket pretty nice um then we have hmm, trying to go through them as quick as i can we have inventory tweaks which is um this just lets you organize and uh, it replaces your your tool after you break it and it's just it makes it a little bit a uh, little bit quicker not extremely quicker but it, it's a little bit nicer to use and lets you uh, um, uh, organize better and we have craft guide which is this in uh, survival I would actually disable this GY and uh, crafty book so that way it's not as cheating or I might just use the G button I don't I'm not sure I have really planned everything out because I don't want to uh, plan everything out I want it just to be uh, you know spontaneous so uh, yeah we got uh, craft GUI just because uh, NEI is updated it is updated to 1.6 but um, uh, yeah I tried to install it with these mods and somehow it's in, it's not being it, not, it doesn't want to be compatible with uh, something that I have installed so we're using craft guide instead and then we have um, man we have so much stuff we have extra buttons mod which adds some pretty cool redstone features which I might not use but uh, pretty pretty useful like bigger buttons more noticeable buttons uh, a capacitive touch one where you just touch it and uh, it'll send out a pulse no matter where you touched it at and um, I think it, add, it also adds rails which uh, slow down the the cart is if there's if there's anything but a player in it it stops if the players in it it pushes it and it goes so it's pretty cool that way we can if we want to have rails in our in our is that okay I thought that was just like half of one that way if we want rails in our place we can have them um and uh, HUD the HUD any HUD any, which you can see in, up in the top right corner, it shows um, sh it'll show my uh, durability on my armor without me going into the uh, menu, and it uh, that time up there is going really really fast because that is on Minecraft time, so it lets you know when night's gonna come. So right now, really early morning, basically, yeah, really early morning. But uh, yeah, it'll, it'll go up just as quick as uh, the sun will. So pretty cool. And it also, if you grab a piece of food, like a uh, baked potato, a normal potato, and an apple, you go to one, it shows you potato will heal 0.5, so half a bar. Um, baked potato heals three bars. Uh, apple heals two. So pretty cool. 
pretty cool little um, little HUD. And then we have um, uh, see we went through that one with utility chests, which I think I had in my other modded survival, but it's making a comeback here. Um, if I can find any. Um, yeah, here they are. It adds just uh, network chests, so better ender chests, basically, and stuff like that. And um, then we got... Um, man, I really wish I went in order. I did not go in order. Not even close. We have Archimedes ships, which lets you make a airship or a bigger boat that you can carry stuff on through the water. Pretty cool. Um, we'll be using that if we find an ocean, maybe. So we can make a ship with some chests in it, so we can carry uh, carry stuff along with us across the ocean. Pretty cool. Um, then we have almost done here. Almost done. We have more bows, which just adds a bunch of cool bows that we can create. Which uh, you know, because the normal bow kind of uh, kind of boring, but we have like the Legia bow, which shoots two arrows at once. It's the most expensive one. And the most powerful one shoots two arrows at the same time and is a lot faster than the normal one. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Then we have the blazing bow, sh shoots from a fire. Golden bow, which uh, does a lot of damage but uh, doesn't have much durability. We have the frost bow, which slows them down. Reinforced bow, just a little bit stronger than the normal one. Pretty cool. Just a pretty cool little mod. Then we have. Um, Ropes Plus, which I may I may take out because it kind of conflicts with the more bows one because it has a bow of itself, of its own. But it's it's pretty cool. It's um, if we grab the normal bow, it only works with the normal bow. We can we have a bunch of new arrows, so I might I might keep it in. I I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But a bunch of adds a bunch of new arrows, which uh, if I used it, the coolest one to use would be the torch one. We add a rope arrow. You shoot it at a wall or something. It'll place down a rope that you can climb up. Pretty cool. We have an exploding arrow. Shoot it. Give it a couple seconds. And it explodes. We have fire arrow. Sets things on fire. And we have the torch arrow, which is really useful in caves. Because you shoot it at something, and it'll put a torch right where it hits. Pretty cool. And that tree is just burning down. So I might keep that one, but I'm, I'm not really sure. And then, last but not least, we have the light bridges and doors and the redstone eulator. I think I pronounced that right. Redstone eulator? I, I, I think that's how you pronounce it. But uh, I'm checking... Yep, those are the last two. So we have the redstone eulator, which is just... If we go into... I have no idea where it's at. What is that? Debug reader? I don't know what that's for. Redstone, these things. Which is a trigger. And what it is, is it's just wireless redstone. So if we make any redstone doors or anything, we can have wireless uh, redstone. Pretty cool. That's about all it adds, but uh, pretty useful. And I added it because I added in. Uh, just recently light bridges and doors which would be really nice to have uh, wireless redstone with and if you don't know what that is it's uh, if you ever ever played halo it is just like halo it's um if we go in here we grab a light bridge it has a gravity lift too the textures are kind of kind of messed up especially the gravity lift because i think it's a work in progress but pretty cool way to travel around works just like the gravity lift from uh, from halo but if we go in here and we grab some of this, and I'll just use torches. Let's say we want part of our door to be right here. So we do that. Put down these. Then how far away do we want our uh, other door? The other end of our, our not our door, but our uh, bridge to go over a big gap. I don't know how far they can go, but uh, they go pretty far. So let's make it six blocks away. And we got to put it up the side. And then we go over here with this. Then we go underneath. Place down torches, which is 
is going to be pretty cool. And it looks like it reaches pretty far. A little bit farther than I thought it would. I forgot the one in the middle. And there we go. We have a light bridge. And when you put a redstone pulse in, it makes the bridge. When you take it out, the bridge disappears and you'll just fall right through. But it's pretty cool. It'll be, uh, I thought it would be a pretty cool uh, mod to add in. Not really useful. Kind of doesn't fit in well with the others, but uh, I thought it was cool, so I put it in. Might not use it that much, but uh, pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So guys, um, now that I've told you all the mods that I've recently put in, which I I think this will be the final one, but I'm still looking around for some other mods. So I might add one or two or three or, you know, you know ten more. Probably not ten. Probably one or two uh, more. But um, this 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 seems about it for the mods that I'll add. And, um, yeah, if you guys think that sounds good, um, just uh, subscribe to my channel, you know. If you want to wanna watch me try to survive in this uh, this new world that uh, I've created with all these mod packs all these mods and stuff so if you want to see that please subscribe and if you like this video please leave a like because it really helps and if you guys have any ideas for other mods that you want to see or a, any any goals or anything for the survival world or any cool uh, things that you want to see in this done in the survival world then uh, leave a comment uh, I'll, I'll try to see what I can do but um, I mean, if you're going to say something that's really going to take months to make, then probably not. But, you know, just if you have basic ideas or mods that you want to see, then I, c I, can, I can do that. I can put them in um, as long as they're not, like, all these mods I've picked are pretty well balanced. So pretty well balanced out. All the recipes for all the coolest things are really expensive, so they're pretty well balanced. So if you have a mod idea that you want... Uh, that you think I should play with and it's not as not really as balanced as these ones. I probably won't put it in but But you know, I'll give it a look See what I can do See if it uh, fits good But yeah guys, that's that's it. So um, just wanted to keep you give you a little update on uh, My new modded survival Season 2 I guess you call it the other one really what really didn't finish it's uh, it's kind of uh, it was a kind of a failure but this one will be going on for a long time, hopefully. And it is in 1.6.2, which means I do not have to no longer uh, keep a diff keep a separate jar for my 1.5.2 or my 1.4.7 um, stuff. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, uh, I guess I'll, I'll see you later.